Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. In this video, I'm gonna show you a few new embedded Power BI reports for Dynamics 365 sales. I'll show you where you need to go to turn them on and then we'll take a look at the reports itself. The first report has several KPIs and charts that are related to sequences in the sales accelerator. And this report is actually part of 2021 release wave one. It's currently in preview, but it's scheduled to be generally available later this month, which is March of 2022. Now you have to turn this on first, right? So let me show you where you can do that. If you click here on this area changer, you'll have to go to sales insight settings. And depending on if that setup page in the sales accelerator is refreshed yet or not, you're going to see different things depending on that, right? So this is the sales accelerator setup page that has not been refreshed yet. So if I click here on setup, and then if I scroll down, you can see here this sales accelerator reporting preview, right? So this is where you can enable that. Now, I also wanted to show you what it looks like if you do have that setup page uh, that's refreshed. So let me just switch to my other environment. And again, I'm going to go to my sales insight settings, but you can see that the name now has changed, right? It's no longer called setup. You can see that it's now called workspace. So you will click on workspace and you can see here, this looks a little different, but you will go here to enable reporting that you see on the bottom. And if you don't see this, that could be this enable reporting link here. That could be because you don't have any data in your system yet. So make sure that you have some data in there. You're going to click on enable reporting and now you're going to get this little pop out window. And obviously this is where you can then enable that report. All right. So let me go back and now show you what that report looks like. So I'm going to switch to my other instance here. And we can now see that we have the sales analytics section, which has been added and you see sales acceleration reports below that. Now I wanted to mention that the data in this report is not live, right? It's being refreshed every 24 hours. Also, when you turn this on, it's going to take about 24 hours for it to become visible because again, all of that data, um, it's, it takes about 24 hours to, uh, to get that report up and running. So then once you go in here, you can see that this is an embedded power BI report. And I wanted to mention also that, out of the box, any users that have the sales manager or the sequence manager role assigned to them can actually view this sequence report in Dynamics 365 sales. Now, obviously you could also create your own security role for this, right? And then just add that if you wanna give people access to the report uh, that way. Now you can see here, we have all sorts of filters on top here. I can take a look at the last and next or whatever days, weeks, months, etc. We can take a look, as you can see, I can switch back be between leads and opportunities. I can also filter on any particular sequence. I can also filter on whoever owns that sequence. And then I can also filter on the sellers. And lastly, I don't have anything. Yeah, I only have an equipment territory. This is the territories that you can also uh, filter on as well. But this is kind of nice, right? Because 
it allows you to kind of see the lead conversion rate so I can see the percentage of leads that are connected to a sequence and which qualified and converted into an opportunity right you can also see the average amount of days that it takes a lead that's connected to a sequence to qualify into an opportunity um, here we have how long does it take in days on average to uh, for a sequence to be completed uh, then we have opportunity ratio to win again right any opportunities that are the ratio to win that are connected to a sequence and then here average time for the opportunity uh, conversion and then here you can see some sequence success rates as well as well you can see here the different percentages uh, you can see here the associated leads or opportunities that are connected right with those sequences you can see here which ones are connected disconnected which ones are completed you can see the different statuses here the different steps as you can see over here and then we can also see some email engagement steps again these this is email engagement steps obviously that are connected to a sequence and we can kind of see right they open the email uh, rate the replied email rate etc and then if you want to drill into this or filter I should say right you can do that obviously uh, as well from here let me see what happens it doesn't look like everything filters on that but you can see here that some of that filtering does come through and then here obviously you can get some additional insights you can change the sorting on here you can click on spots spotlight but overall i think this is a pretty cool reporting tool uh, that we have that kind of sits on top of that sequence reporting the second report i wanted to share with you is the sales usage report and just like the sequence report this is all something that you need to turn on before you can actually view that report so let me show you where you can enable that. I'm just gonna switch my environment real quick. And I'm gonna go and navigate here to app settings. And then you will notice that below general settings, you'll see this sales usage report item here on the sitemap. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that. And then this is obviously where you can turn that on. And now if I navigate back to the sales area over here, you can see again under sales analytics, we now have the sales usage report here. And you can see there's two different tabs. We have the opportunity usage reporting, and then we also have the lead usage reporting. So you can see here, again, you have some filters here. So I can take a look at the last, next, or this amount of weeks, calendar weeks, months, or years. I can filter this by any user. You can also see if you have managers set up, you can filter on those as well. And then business units here as well. And I didn't have anything in roles, so I'm not sure what that's referring to apparently it's not looking at the security roles because i do have security roles associated with my users so i wasn't sure what that means but hopefully we'll find that out a little bit later and then you can see here right i can take a look at all of my opportunities that have been converted my conversion rate the average time in days for that conversion then i can see open and one opportunities over time so this is looking at i believe the created on date and then you can see here all of the statuses open and one and then i can see that from the number of opportunities and the percentage of opportunities directly in here and then here you can see who are the users that are creating all of those opportunities and then the top users for most converted opportunities as well and if I go to lead usage reporting here 
Again, you can see the same filtering options that we saw on the opportunity usage reporting, but now we're looking at this from a leads perspective. So I can see all the leads that were qualified in that time frame, my conversion ratio, the average time for lead conversion, again, the leads over time, open and qualified leads, the status with a number and a percentage of open and qualified leads. And then again, top users for who's creating the most leads in this time frame, and then the top users for most leads qualified. So there you have it. Those are the reports that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day, everybody.